them I made it. I saw Brigade Worldwide. Mr. Meta forever. I'm a soca kind of me. Hey, yo, Scott, your man made it. You a legend. Yeah. You doing the most, yeah. man. Uh, you still recite the Quran in the candlelight. Mutanda went to those Kanyama days. Now my boys are crossing borders. They are Bell Mwen was the Taungas. Uncle has the last boat, my first children. Hello, and welcome to Kabwe VGTK. I'm your host, KD Angel. And remember, pressure in life, Ukabu, pressure at tell life. And right about this time, we are at Busy B. So just in case you're wondering what Busy B is, so Busy B is a fitness center. Uh, there is, uh, you know, car wash. There is also pub and grill, a restaurant as well. Eat good food, you know, have, a, you know, a nice shaped body. <laughs> if you want to have that, it's Busy B. So right here, I'm with uh, Esma. So how are you, sir? Well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. So Esma, is it? Yeah, Esma, a.k.a. Mr. Mera forever. Wonderful, wonderful. So can you tell us more about yourself, sir? Yeah, Hezma is a Zambian rapper, poet, songwriter, part-time producer, author. Yeah, I'm a man of many introductions. Wow. It's wow. I mean, uh, that's that's interesting. I really love poetry. I wanted you to do like, hey, can you do me a poet? Something like that, you know. So, uh, who is your greatest inspiration? I think my greatest inspiration is among the many is Daddy Zimas, because I started listening to music at Ghana interest in music when I did, when I saw Daddy Zimas on TV. So one of my greatest inspirers is Daddy Zimas. Yeah. So um, do you do anything else apart from music or something? Yeah, apart from music, I'm a football administrator. I'm also a part-time sound engineer. I'm also a boxing trainer. That's great. That's great. So um. Your music is 90% Eng English. Why? <laughs> I think that is the language that I have got a great command in. Yeah. yeah. So I see why they call you a man of many, you know, introductions. I've seen the way you've just dropped the, you know, the lines in uh, languages. La la, what what, what what. <laughs> so about the, the Berlin uh, Award, uh, how was it? I think the, the experience was, was okay. Yeah, it was a learning curve for me. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Wonderful. So, um, the nomination and the the eventual loss. So, I think the the the, the nomination was. I welcomed it with open arms. You know, it's, it's not easy. Yeah, and they for the the nomination was the recognition was glory enough for me. Yeah, and the loss, I came out third. I think. That, that is something because the nomination itself is is a step in the right direction and the nomination is equally going to help me in terms of brand awareness yeah that's nice that's nice interesting so um what's next any any new project video ep or album that you're planning you know for us yeah, i'm currently working on my fourth ep fourth career EP. My first EP was rehearsal mm -hmm. in 2011. Then 2013, I worked on pulmonary poetry. 2018, Rose of Thorns. Currently, I'm working on Beautiful Storm, wow. which is my fourth career EP. Yeah, wow. yeah it's, in, it's in the pipeline. It's on the horizon. Wonderful. So, uh, we'll now take a break. Hey, hey, hey. I saw Brigade Worldwide, Mr. Meta forever. I'm a soca kind of me. Hey, yo, Scott, your man made it. You a legend. You're doing the most, man. You still recite the Quran in the candlelight. Mutanda went to those Kanyama days. Now my boys are crossing borders. They are Bell Mwen was the Taungas. Uncle has the last bought my first show down. Zukanji took me in when I was at Balo West. So I'm passing on the kindness to the young ones. I've been coaching these boys out of fish. I still speed metaphors on these beats. I leveled up to say goodbye to the streets. The new world is the inner peace. 
So I've been hollering down my second in Shimbi why in the Zangwa Kubu Seko Yeah, I beat the old no bad power Me and my boy Kennedy, we build an empire Talk about black excellence, come on The was food for thought, number telling The black shepherd I stayed beyond the flock From hand to mouth to creating generational wealth <laughs> My shoe rack, old Nikes 20 years ago this was a pipe dream Tani Andy would tell me why my nearly rise up The politicians or you nothing man you better wise up You gotta train hard, fight easy My hometown was too small for these big dreams The past just got greener in Ballastone Visionary like Campbell or Anderson I followed the river, I found the sea The beautiful storm is a marvel to see I beat the old snow bay power Me and my boy Kennedy we built an empire I'm sweeter than cream, gonna fika the palula. In them vanyonya quatis at the pankana, gonna rapanga the faust for what soon can. Fiamu mulo pefi, fiaba moven. Not in full, I'm ever son that I'm dropping a hurricane. Hey. To catch him, fia boy, is if he can canny. Come close and gonna man tingo to panga mapulani. Gonna I got your mic in the bruce, ya musakanya. 99 talents, pakatin and dia kanya. Beautiful storm, my la toali chin fia popo ching. Welcome back. You still watching Kabwe VCTK, and I'm still with Exma. Uh, so uh, the, I, I, I've seen the video. You know, it is of inspiration. Uh, it's very nice. I've seen you know some good views. You know the appearance, you know outfit in short, and uh, it's really nice. So where did you do the, the shooting from? Is it Kabwe, Lusaka, Livingstone? You know. Oh yeah, beautiful storm, beautiful storm, uh, and. Uh, what I can say about Beautiful Storm, there is one thing that people don't know about Beautiful Storm. The person on the hook uh, is Elboy. Uh, yeah. So uh, the video was shot in Lusaka. Yeah, in Mrs. We also did some clips in Kuku and Kamwala. Yeah, it was shot by Comfort Mwape, a.k.a. C4. Yeah. All right, all right. So, um, what would you be doing right now if it wasn't for your music career? Well, <laughs> if, if, it's, if it wasn't for my music career, I think I would be a full-time boxing trainer. Yeah. So, just boxing. It's all about boxing, now. Huh? Uh, it's all about sport. I can't say it's all about boxing. It's all about sport because I'm a football administrator. For Amasoka Academy, yeah, you could play competitive chess, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm a sports uh, person, yeah. Interesting, interesting. So, um, how do you feel the internet has impacted the music business? Yeah, the the the, inter, the, the advent of the internet has got both merits and demerits. I think there is no that human element. If you want to upload music on YouTube. It's just between the artist and YouTube. There is no DJ, there's no manager, there's, so there's no that human element of envy or jealousy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also helpful to the less established artists. They are getting their music out there, it's easy. Yeah, then they're equally able to make money through streams. So you can make money at the comfort of your home, you know, pay stream. We are able to get... Uh, royalties now what we call royalties yeah then the other thing the internet has helped us as artists is in terms of making money you are able to get to make money from royalties yeah the comfort of your home you know getting something out of your labor 
yeah, then the equally on the on the demerits part, the the, the internet has um, ne negatively affected the, the industry. Is it has catapulted the the piracy because if you put your music on one side, you are trying to sell it and make a few cents. You can find that somebody has downloaded and is giving out for free for 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 numbers, you know. So so. The internet, the, the advent of the social media, it's both a blessing and a curse at the same time. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. So, um, Mr. Ezbo, uh, what's your favorite song to perform? A song that you really love performing? Well, I've got, I've got plenty of favorites. You know, I'm one of my biggest fans. To answer your question, Old Gloves. Old Gloves, old gloves my, there's a song I did in my Rose of Thorns. Yeah, Rose of Thorns. EP called Old Gloves. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. So, um, which famous musician do you, you know, admire to work with? I think I would love to work with Wazy and Mumbaiach. Mumbaiach. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's interesting. So you've been like following them ever since. Yeah, I think I know Wazy personally, and I'm a great fan of uh, Mumba. Yeah, I would love to to really work with them because my music is the kind of soulful, soulful hip hop. So you know, it could blend well. Yeah. Great, great, great. So, um, what is the best advice you've been given, being in music? In life or music? Just music wise, yeah. I think I've been getting a lot of feedback. Yeah, but one which stands out is you know I need to. I think maybe try to move with the trends because I my music is you know the the old school hip hop the the, the real hip hop the way hip hop was meant to sound yeah then there's been equally a lot of feedback you know trying to do some buzz in vernacular yeah so I've been working towards the the the, the, the language part the lingo part yeah yeah but I don't want to derail from from the hazma. Yeah, the is my kind of music, but I've, I've been trying to infuse vernacular in my music of late, yeah. Great, great, great. So, um, if you were to change something about the music industry, what would that be? I think I would try to promote co coexistence. Mm -hmm. I think what is lacking in the industry is the coexistence, the, the upcoming artists, the promoters, the DJs, the big artists, the media houses i think we need to we need to coexist yeah that is what i would promote and change about the industry wonderful wonderful so do you do you like have any hobbies or interests outside music yeah <laughs> away from music i'm a lot of things yeah but away from music i'm i'm a bookworm i read a lot of books yeah i'm, I'm an author as well i'm a writer yeah I also play a lot of chess in my okay. free time. <laughs> yeah. Indeed, you're a man of many you know, introductions. Chess, boxing, music. <laughs> Interesting. So um, uh, what's, what strengths do you have that you believe make you a great musician? I think one of my greatest strengths is um, the knowledgeability. Um, I'm a very knowledgeable person. No, I, I read a lot. I'm a researcher. You know, I'm I, I'm a knowledge seeker, so I use my 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 brain power to to to, to make good music to 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 impact society positively. Yes, I think my greatest one of my strength is the brain power, the knowledgeability. Yeah. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so, do you have any weaknesses that you are actively working to improve on? Weaknesses. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> I think I am an introvert. You know, I'm a reserved kind of person, and that is not good for the industry. You also have been trying to 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 put down that 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 introversy, you know, and try. Yeah, this the outgoing. Yeah, introvert. More of an outgoing person. Yeah. That's very much important. So, um, do you have any musician you've mentored or trained? You know, being in the music industry, uh, obviously people, or me, you know, these upcoming artists could have been coming to you and say, you know, I want you to mentor me, I want you to train me. So, are there any musicians that you've mentored in that way? Yeah, I think I've been in the music industry for 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 for, for a long time. Yeah, 
been I've made a lot of uh, because I, I am a producer, I'm a sound engineer. I've, I've made a lot of artists. The list is too numerous to mention. I've met a lot of artists and they're helping them in the craft of songwriting, the craft of recording itself, and the production wise as well. I think I've, I've done my part in terms of mentorship. I've done my part. Now I'm still doing my part. Okay. Yeah. Okay, great, great. So um, before before I make you you know do a freestyle for us because if I just get carried away and forget about that, so I just want you to, you know, just give the viewers maybe how they can find you, how they can trace you uh, either on Facebook, YouTube, or any other social media platform. Oh yeah, I think the social the handle is Hezma Z M spelled H E Z M A space Z M. Yeah, so that's and they can they can they can equally reach me on the management line zero nine seven eight eight four nine zero three zero. So like uh, those users you gave are they for Facebook or they are both Facebook and YouTube? For 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 YouTube it says my ZM equally. Yeah, so it's Facebook and uh, YouTube. The, the 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 handle is the same. Here's my ZM. Yeah. So there you have it. So um. I think this is a moment that I've been waiting for personally, and I'm sure the viewers have also been waiting for that. So, uh, don't worry. Um, I want you to do a freestyle for us, you know, and the viewers, you know, just a short freestyle. <laughs> the darkest hour came before the dawn. I quit the boxing ring for the microphone. Who's the prince of rap now? You can watch the throne. Got a couple of my homies at the peanut block. Doing 25 to life. They ain't sink the road. Dame, I came from the rock border. Homeboy, Masala is the black Harlem. I saw how Kazaki held it down for dreams. I've washed my hands now I can eat with kings. I came out of nothing like the Big Bang Theory. When I look back, my eyes get teary. Well, wow, 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 wow. Wow, I like it. Wow, wow, wow. Ah, that's why you're Isma. So thank you for watching. Have been your host, KD Angel. And remember, pressure a life, vocabulary, pressure, tell life. So see you next time, you know, just so that you catch up more on uh, Let's Talk, what's happening in Kawe, so forth and so on. Thank you.